Now, there's lots of people are saying that Mo Norman taught them his secrets before he died. Now, I'm not disputing Mo Norman never taught anyone, or told anyone anything. I'm just saying that he never told them his secrets. He only told them what he wanted to tell them. Um, Mo Norman wasn't one of the gifted that was born with a golf swing. Mo Norman was the same as you and I, high handicappers. So what he did was he set out to find a way to strike the golf ball. And in my opinion, it's a better way of striking the golf ball than the conventional swing. But what is being taught as his fundamentals is not what he actually did himself. The best example I can give you is why his club was behind the ball at address. Most teachers, when explaining Mo Norman's address, will address the ball with the club behind it. And they'll say, Mo Norman didn't address the, the ball this way. Mo Norman had his club. 12 inches behind the ball if it's for a driver. Now, that's not the case. Mo Norman had his club behind the ball not for the reasons that he told the people. He told them he had his club behind the ball because it saved them and it was part of his backswing was already there. It kept him from going outside it kept his club low. These are all things that he told people why he put his club head behind the ball. Now the real reason why Monon put his club head behind the ball is this. Monon had a very wide stance as you know. So Monon not only put his club head 12 inches behind the ball, he had his whole body 12 inches behind the ball. Now what this did was, this allowed him to take his backswing and move into the ball. Now, if Mo Norman had his club behind the ball and then just moved his arms across to 12 inches behind the ball, then he'd have had to sway back in his backswing to give him that position to move into the ball. So, Mo Norman being Mo, he must have thought at one time, why should I sway back to get into a position so I can move forward when I can start back there to start with. So he started back here with his whole body behind the ball. That way he could take a normal backswing and move into the ball. Obviously, the distance behind the ball would increase, or decrease rather, as his clubs get shorter. For a wedge, it was basically just leaning back slightly, but this was enough to allow him to move into the ball. So that, that's one of the fundamental that uh, teachers of the more Norman swing have definitely got wrong. So look, have a look at my website. Golf's greatest discovery. And learn a little bit more about Mona. Thank you very much.